Well guys, we're out here testing the Rhino TS-10 as a batwing mower. So excited to mow the field for the first time at the new property. We started out with all sorts of promise today and we are ending with a problem. When you see that hood up, you know the day is done.
So I'm out here for the first time mowing with a bat wing mower, midsummer day, 90s, and probably had 35, 40 minutes of mowing time done on it, did the perimeter, and then started just going down the middle, doing some passes, having some fun, having a blast. I started to notice that temperature gaze rising. You want to keep an eye on that, and especially when you're mowing, you're kicking up all sorts of debris and pollen and just everything. It wants to collect right on the front of that radiator screen there on the engine compartment. So I hopped off, turned the tractor off, figured I'd give it a breather, clean everything off, and get back to work. So when I got back in the tractor and turned it on, it fired right up. But then a couple seconds later on the dash, the big stop sign that probably never lights up for the majority of us was bright red. It said temp high on the display. And then the actual temperature gauge was all of a sudden buried in the red when it was just, it was close, but it was in the green before, but now it was in the red. So I immediately turned it off. And so I'll tell you, this is really disappointing because this is coming right on the heels of another issue or another couple issues we had with the tractor, which was a three point hitch just randomly not working anymore, along with two of the rear remotes, first the fourth, and then the third started to not work. And then after that, the battery decided to not work. So we took it into the John Deere dealer, had them take a look. They couldn't find any issues with the three point, nothing with the hydraulics, everything worked perfectly for them. To top it off, the battery tested normal, completely normal for them. We went ahead and replaced the battery anyways. So we got it back out here from the dealership, did a little bit of tilling for road prep. And then this is the next project. And as you can see, now we're dead in the water or in the grass. So fluid levels are just fine. Filters just fine. I got to tell you, I'm really having some second thoughts on uh, keeping the 4720 and not just sticking with the, the 4066. You know, sometimes if it ain't broke, don't fix it or don't get something new. And that's what I'm kind of experiencing right now. But that ship has sailed, so I got to deal with this. But even just standing next to the engine compartment right now after 15, 20 minutes of it being off, it still feels really hot. It's almost radiating the heat this far away to me. Something's just not right, and so far, I don't know what it is. So I'm trying to kind of figure out what was different today, and there's a few things that stand out. Number one, when we started it up, there just seemed to be a noticeable amount of black smoke, and I don't know what that means. Way more than I would have normally seen. Uh, secondly, the air conditioning was really struggling to keep up today. It just was not cooling down very well. And from what I can recall, the temperature gauge wasn't as low for the engine temp as, it, as low as it normally is. It was running a little bit higher than I feel like it would be normal, which was, it was still plenty in the normal range, but it just seemed like it was a smidge higher than my recollection. You know, at least we got our landing strip done here. So if there's any planes in the area, they have a safe place to land. So what are you gonna do? Sometimes things just don't go as planned. We'll get this tractor fixed up, get back out here and finish mowing. We got tilling to do, we got road to put in, we have all sorts of projects to tackle. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. If you want something for your tractor, pallet forks, batwing mower, snow pusher, you name it, we got it. Check out goodworkstractors.com. Thanks again for stopping by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Hopefully on a tractor that's running. Well, I think I found the reason the tractor is overheating. It's in a lot of pain. Would you check out the size of that thorn? I'm afraid to pull this thing out.